Hey guys, it's Damon at California Carnivores and I'm still sowing seeds, it's that time of year. I wanna to talk today about specifically cobra plant seeds or Darlingtonia, which I have right down here on my piece of paper. These are seeds that are um, best sown in the spring and you do wanna stratify, you do wanna cold stratify these seeds. Um, we'll do that after I sow them. You can see here though, they look kind of the same color as Saracenia or American pitcher plant seeds, which they are cousins of, but they're covered in these little tiny hairs. They're very small. Daniela can probably focus on that and see it. Um, we believe that those tiny little hairs are designed to get caught in the fur of bears and it helps Darlingtonia find other wet places in dry Northern California to grow. In Northern California we don't get any rain in the summertime and that's what I mean by dry. There might be miles of very dry, what we call chaparral scrubland, but in between suitable Darlingtonia um, habitat. And so the bears, we believe, bring them there in their fur. And other than that, there's basically the exact same as sowing all the other seeds, but we'll just go through it. I'm gonna tap the paper, march them on down. Maybe I'll shimmy them a little bit. There we go. Darlingtonia are tricky plants to grow when they're big, and they're not any easier when they're small. So this wouldn't be my first seed thing. Grow some Cape Sundews, grow some fly traps, then maybe try some Darlingtonia. And again, you want there to be like, you know, a seed maybe evenly distributed, but you don't want them to be too close together so that they crowd each other out later because they're pretty precious. And usually something about there is where I'll settle in on. It's gonna be so fresh these seeds. That's a nice coverage. Then I'll just put those to stratify for six weeks. And then in the spring, when I put them under the light, they'll start to grow. We'll show you that later.